I'm Pastor Billy Brath here for another ministry moment to help your ministries move forward according to God's will. In week one of our series on funding the mission, faithful financial stewardship and support of active ministries, we will explore the offering plate and its time in the service. My parents handed me a dollar each week to place in the plate as it went by, embedding in me the practice shared by many from their childhood. The habit of giving to the Lord, the act of worship behind it, and even the passing of the plate itself aren't the focus of this video. Instead, let's first explore how to shake off some of the cultural confusion around the offering plate and move to some best practices related to funding ministry. Our economy is designed around handing over dollars in exchange for goods and services. No great revelation there. But we must acknowledge that this financial system is in people's minds when the offering plate is passed. It's normal for members to see themselves as consumers who are paying for a service. You provide for me a nice space, a place to sit, music, a motivational speech, and in exchange, I give you some of my money. Well, some quick points to turn into teaching. First, it's not my money, it's the Lord's. He's allowed us to be financial stewards, managers of his money. Second, the offering plate supports all ministry, not just the worship service. And third, the offering plate is a corporate practice. We're pooling resources in response to the Lord as a congregation he has gathered. Now let's spin those three around and look at best practices from around the church. First, teach stewardship. You've heard this, but let me be more nuanced. Continually teach that your entire life, time, resources, relationships, etc., belong to the Lord. All of it, not just 10%. As a manager, steward, the Lord entrusts us to make decisions on how to best use our lives for His purposes. How I break up my week between work, family time, volunteer time, self-care, etc., is a stewardship choice, and I must make those decisions with the Lord's plan for me in mind. Like my time, 100% of my dollars must be used in service to the Lord. Our conversation today is helping our people decide how much of that ends up in the offering plate in support of ministries. Second, he gathers us into a congregation to make these stewardship choices together. We should really be talking about how we all use our time on this earth, helping one another make faithful choices. Third, in service to those two previous points, publish what the offering plate supports in other words, keep your congregation informed about the ministries the Lord is asking you to produce and how much they cost. A faithful steward needs to know what the Lord is asking of them. Fourth, publish a giving pyramid, a breakdown of what families need to contribute to support the ministries. Use historical giving data to build it so folks understand how they fit in according to the finances the Lord has granted to them. And finally, Use the offering time to teach, storytell, and invite. Teach stewardship, present your ministry plans, and storytell what the dollars are doing and invite people to join in with their dollars and time. Help your people understand that their connection to the offering plate as a connection to the work of the church God has gathered them into. We at LCEF have lots of resources to assist you in this and other faithful stewardship best practices. Let us support you. Please connect with your LCEF District Vice President or email ministry.solutions at lcef.org.